I'm here with John Heron, who is a VP, VP Sales for Wisdom Audio. Wisdom, we know the technology. You had a super demonstration here, but you've got something really cool. You're actually going to be able to bring this into Europe and put it into cement walls. Right. In, in some parts of this country and in much of Europe, solid wall construction is much more common than the hollow walls that we have in our country. Um, if you have poured concrete, brick, masonry, um, this is a solution for that. In this particular case, we are used showing it in a poured concrete solution. You set up the forms, you nail this extruded aluminum box, it's powder coated, uh, to the form, set up the conduit, run your wire, then the concrete comes, gets poured, dries out, the forms come off, you grind off the nails that previously had been sticking into the wood of the concrete form, and you're left with this cavity that is designed to hold the loudspeaker. We make these in all different lengths. This is obviously our little P20. We also have speaker, you know, cavities this size for the L75 and other loud, loudspeaker models. Why don't you show us how easy it is to install? Well, this is the module that now goes into the solid wall, the concrete wall. You can see that it's a high-quality speaker that has its own back box. It's fully enclosed all by itself. And this slips into and screws into this space after you make the connection, connect the wires that I didn't bother to do here. Uh, it screws into the space. So John, why don't you show us how, just how easy it is to install once we've, we've screwed the speaker into the wall? So yeah, now that the speaker is in place, and actually this would normally happen after the plasterers had come by to put a skim coat surface on the wall, uh, you install the loudspeaker and then you also install these flexible strips which have rubber magnets as well as neodymium dots for greater strength. You install these here on either side of the speaker. And we have a special tool because the person who does the plaster, the skim coat, it's, it's never going to be perfectly straight. There's some variations. So we have a tool which, if you imagine that the skim coat surface is there, you can use to establish a consistent reveal all the way down here. So that if there is a contour to the surface of the wall, the flexible strip follows that contour. And then, you and just then the grill attaches to the metal strip, leaves a, it floats just slightly off the wall, leaving a nice consistent reveal all the way down, even if the wall itself is uneven. The final point about this is that if on a very tall speaker like the one behind me, um, you discover after the concrete has been poured that it's not perfectly plumb, it's a few millimeters out of plumb, it's not a problem because you just twist the grill to make the grill perfectly plumb and everybody's happy. Well, that's great for people in California with earthquakes. They can just move it back once they that. And, and if, if you ever have a problem with this speaker in an earthquake, you have bigger problems than the speaker. It's the whole wall coming down. John, thank you very much. For, this is very easy plug and play. Thank you very much for this opportunity. And we're looking forward to seeing you again in Europe. Thank you very much. Thank you.